The World Intellectual Property Organization is a United Nations agency charged with protecting intellectual property created in 1967 through an international system that promotes and sustains creativity, innovation, and helps develop international economies. Strategies adopted by member states and organizations include developing an IP infrastructure, building international respect for IP, supporting structures used to facilitate financial and administrative functions, and implementing global policy issues related to IP. Our mission is to lead the development of a balanced and effective international intellectual property system that enables innovations and creativity for the benefit of all. Since its competition in 1978, the headquarters building of the World Intellectual Property Organization has become an architectural landmark in Geneva. We also have external offices in Brazil, China, Japan, Russia, Singapore and New York. WIPO's organizational structure is based on seven sectors, Human Resources Management Department, Office of the Legal Council, Economics and Statistics Division, Department for Transition and Developed Countries, SMEs and Entrepreneurship Support Division, Internal Oversight Division, and Office of the Director General, under the overall leadership of the Director General, Francis Gorey. Other import important permanent committees include Program and Budget Committee, Committee on Development and Intellectual Property, Intergovernmental Committee on Intellectual Property and Genetic Resources, Traditional Knowledge and Folklore, Advisory Committee on Enforcement. WIPO works in cooperation with governments as the European Commission in the private sector with the international network of SMEs, non-governmental organizations, international confederation of societies of authors and composers. As a United Nations agency, WIPO is committed to working with developing least developed countries to enable them to reap benefits from the IP system and to enhance their participation in the global innovation economy. Colombia joined WIPO in 1980. The WIPO works in Colombia very closely to the design power in the creation of laws to the protection of intellectual property. Since 2001 has been increasing the registration in Colombia of patents, marks and industrial designs. Also, Colombia is a member of PSET, Bern Union, Madrid System, and Paris Union. An example of these laws regarding intellectual property is the law number 1403 of 2010 that states a remuneration is established for public communication to artists, performers of audiovisual works and recordings. Colombia has an organization that is called Psycho Asimpro. This organization is authorized by the National Direction of Copyright to collect the royalties derived of entities as Psycho, Society of Authors and Composers of Colombia, and Asimpro, Colombian Association of Phonographic Producers. However, we have laws issued by the presidents. One example of this is the decree number 03523 of 2009 which is modified the structure of the Superintendency of Industry and Commerce and their function. The Superintendency is in charge of regulating the industry and commerce in Colombia and preventing the companies to take advantage of the consumers and sanction companies that collude to surprises or establish a market share. Also, one of their functions is protect the intellectual property regarding marks, names and lemmas of the companies. The creation of three systems and have been helping the protection of the IP in global market that are Patent Cooperation Treaty, Madrid System for the International Registration of Marks, the Hague System for the International Registration Designs. The Patent Cooperation Treaty has 152 countries, the Madrid System 116 countries, the Hague System 66 countries. These achievements are the perfect way to protect the growing demand of intellectual property and the effectiveness of protection in several countries with only one registration. The failures of the WIPO is that they have not been available to create systematic procedure to accelerate the solutions of conflicts regarding intellectual property. Also the WIPO is facing a new problem, which is developing area of big data the Internet of Things and the most important, 
the artificial intelligence.